بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد So today inshallah we're going to focus on the second verb the second verb and it is the root letters الكاف والواو النون and Ibn Faris rahmatullahi alayhi says, Aslun yadullu ala al ikhbari an huduthi shay'in, imma fi zamanin maadin aw zamanin rahin. Yaquluna kana shay'u yakunu kawnan idha waqa'a wa hadar. So he's basically telling us that these three root letters of kaf, waw, and noon, that they indicate information regarding something new that is happening either in the past or in the present future because in the Arabic the verb form is either the past tense or the present future so the present and the future are included in the same verb format and then the third format of a verb is the command or the imperative form so these three root letters are talking about the past or in the present future tense and so when we look at the uh, simple uh, masculine, uh, singular masculine past tense of kana, the verb form is kana. In Corpus Quran, it mentions that these three root letters occur 1,390 times in three different forms. So even this, mashallah, you look at this, you have basically almost 1400 times in the Qur'an. So long as you pay attention to the three root letters. So just the past tense form of kana, just that is found in the Qur'an 1358 times. So the majority of this verb in the Qur'an, it's found exactly as that, kana, kana, kana. And the other few times are makan and makanat. But when you look at them, you can see the kaf, you can see the alif, you can see the nun. So don't let whatever else it is that's in there fool you or trick you in the same way for the previous verb of what we took of qala. Do not let anything else of what's present in the different forms trick you. Pay attention, hone in on, locate. And inshallah ta'ala, the more that you practice, the better and the easier it will become for you to recognize the core root letters, the three of them. So as you're reading the Qur'an, my beloved brothers and sisters, in this blessed month of Ramadan, which is the month of fasting, the month of Qur'an, the month of so many beautiful deeds of worship that Allah loves, as you're reading the Qur'an, pay attention inshallah ta'ala to see that you can locate the different two verbs that we mentioned and their different forms so that this way, bidnillah, you're able to practice. You're able to practice what you're learning and in doing so, that inshallah ta'ala you'll be better engaged with Allah who has speech to you. And inshallah ta'ala you'll be all the more focused and even find even greater gratitude and even greater gratification in what you are reading of the book of Allah who has His final revelation, the Qur'an. I pray that Allah ta'ala increase us in everything that brings us closer to Him and helps us to be all the more grateful to him and that he accept us in our fasting and all of our good deeds. Allahumma ameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.